Hi everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. This is my 2014 Victory Cross Country Tour. One thing I like to do is make videos. I try to learn as much as I can on this bike. So the thing I use the most is my hydraulic jack. Now I'm sure most of you seen jacks like this. They're made by various companies. They come in various colors, but they all have the same design and they're rated at 1500 pounds. Now, when I bought this jack, I had a Triumph Bonneville. It weighs in at 500 pounds. This bad boy with fuel and oil in it comes in at 890 pounds. And because I do so much videos, I use this jack every other day. Well, a couple of years after using it on this bike, I found that the jack would no longer lift it. I took the jack bottle off. I tried bleeding it. I tried changing the oil in it, but no matter what I did, it would still not lift the bike. The jack was done. So I went out and I bought a new bottle jack and replaced it on this. Well, it lasted a couple of years and now it's starting to do the same thing. It's getting harder to lift this bike with this jack. So I decided to start looking closer at this jack and see how it works and why the bottle jacks are failing. Let me show you what I found. Now, when we operate the jack, we pump it up and it extends pushing against this bracket right here that is connected to these two points on this bar. The bar pivots right here and it ends right here where this bolt is. This is a lever. It's actually a class three lever. That means that the energy point, the point where the jack is connected to is in between the fulcrum and the resistance side. In this case, the weight of the motorcycle. And we can calculate how much energy does it take to lift from this point for a certain amount of weight at this point? To do that, we only have to measure the points along the lever. So I'm just going to eyeball it here, but from the fulcrum to the energy point right here is five and a half inches. From the fulcrum to the resistance point right here is 13 and a half inches. Now we can do some calculations on this and figure out all these numbers. So this is our lever. We have the fulcrum right here. We've got the energy point right there, that's the jack. And we've got the resistance side over here, that's the weight of the motorcycle. We can calculate the mechanical advantage of a lever by input over output. So we know how much the motorcycle weighs, how much energy is going to be needed to lift it. We know this is at 13.5 inches from the fulcrum. We know this is 5.5 inches from the fulcrum. We are going to take 13.5 and divide it by 5.5. That gives us 2.47. That means it takes 2.47 times the amount of energy here to lift a given weight here. And we can test that. I have a luggage scale here that I'm going to use. First, I'll put the hook underneath the resistance end of the lever and I'll lift it up and see what that gives me. 13, almost 14. And now I'll do the same thing at the energy point, which is right here where the jack connects. So this should be about 2.5 times. 35. So you can see, if I take an 890 pound bike, put it on top of this jack, using the calculations that I gave you, I am going to need over 2,100 pounds of energy from that bottle jack. No wonder they keep failing on me. 
If I want to continue using this jack, I'm going to have to beef up the bottle. This is the original bottle that came with the jack. You can see right here it says 1,500 pounds. Well, at least they were accurate in their advertising. It is a 1,500 pound jack. This here is an old jack I have. It is a four ton jack. That's 8,000 pounds. And it looks roughly the same size. Now I'm going to have to drill mounting holes and put in some return springs and such, but that's the jack that I'm going to mount on this lift. Now I know what you're thinking. Paul, why don't you just buy yourself a better jack? Well, there is nothing I want more than to do just that. I have done my research and I know exactly the jack I want. I cannot say the name of it on this video, but it's built in the States. It's black. It has an air as well as hydraulic feature on it. So I can use my air compressor to lift my bike. And it is $650 US plus shipping. I live in Canada. That's going to cost me north of $1,000. It's a lot, but you know, I have a lot invested in this bike. So I will probably go ahead and do that if I could get one here. I have called, I have emailed, I have tried for weeks trying to get someone over there to see if I can buy one of their jacks. On their website, they show one location in all of Canada that sells their jack. That's in Montreal. I have called them. I have emailed them. Nobody is replying to me. So you know what? For now, I'm just going to have to modify this jack to work. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking of just simply building my own. Using the same layout, just beefier, I've got a welder, I can get the metal, and I can get an air hydraulic jack here. So I'm probably going to end up building my own, customized for this bike. But that's going to be another video. All I want to do today is give you information. As I said before, knowledge is power. Be aware of what you're putting on this jack. Be aware of the amount of pressure it takes. That's all I'm saying. Thank you very much for watching another one of my videos. Have fun, ride safe, and I'll see you next time.